So to start your little adventure on this suspension bridge, you are going to have to walk up a quite a few steps. I heard there's 538 of them. So be ready for a little bit of a workout. Ooh, here we go. After you catch your breath, you're going to be greeted by this lovely scene right behind you. 75 meter tall suspension bridge here in Suncheong, South Korea. If you're scared of heights, you might want to stay on the ground. But for those of you who are a little bit more adventurous, this is the perfect thing for you. The best of all, it's free. So after checking out the beautiful sights here on this amazing suspension bridge, you might be getting a little bit thirsty or a little bit hungry. Let's head out to one of the amazing cafes nearby. See you there. So now far away from that suspension bridge is this beautiful cafe that's like a Hanok style that serves some of the most aesthetic looking bingsu ever. So if you don't know, bingsu is like a shaved ice dessert. You guys, look at this. This looks just like that suspension bridge that we were just at. And you see the two mountains with the bridge in between. How cool, right? This place is also really well known for making their mochi strawberries, which is a strawberry surrounded by red bean paste and rice mochi. Oh, looks so good. This looks almost too incredible to want to eat. However, almost, because I'm ready to dig in. So, uh, I don't know. Where shall we begin? Let's eat. What's the key to some of Korea's tastiest foods? The answer is gochujang. This fiery red pepper paste is a staple in Korean cuisine, and Suncheong is the mecca for some of the highest quality gochujang in the country. Take a trip to the gochujang village to find out more about this ubiquitous spicy delight. You are surrounded by this paste. I cannot wait to explore it. So there are actually gochujang masters who live right here in this traditional village and they pass down their recipes from generation to generation. Be sure to check out the earthenware pots around the village. While they may look simple, magic is fermenting inside. The process of creating gochujang is a true art that requires patience, hard work, and lots of experience. Gochujang Museum tells you all about the history of gochujang all throughout the decades. And it's really healthy, has a lot of great things for you. And the Sunchan gochujang said to be some of the best because it has some unique flavor profiles. Guys, it's actually so good that in the past it was given to the kings of Korea. It's kind of like a present because this the gochujang here in Sunchang is so good. So you can come here and learn about how it's made, the past, and also the future and how they hope to bring the Sunchang gochujang to the rest of the world. All right, so after all of this exploring of Sunchang, you're gonna be hungry. So make sure you stop in for some great food. Guys, right here, this is bean bean bop with some beef bulgogi. Make sure you add some of that famous Sunchang gochujang on top before you mix it up and then dig in. Yeah. Mm. Jollibook is known. Probably some of the best food in Korea. You can see why. 